Hi friends, Nadasha with Nadasha Scrapbook Corner and today I'm coming to you with another share. This is a Shabby Christmas in July art mail a postcard that I created for their our first swap um, at NSK and Friends. It's one on one swap that we are hosting among members of our closed Facebook group. Uh, so hopefully uh, we are gonna get more interest and more sign-ups so please join our group and participate if you want to so uh, the um, it is supposed to be um, the um, postcard that would be one of the requirements for our swap and uh, nothing complicated about that i just um, pulled out of pinterest and printed out uh, the postcard um, the only uh, difference from just regular printouts i uh, digitally um, uh, digitally tweaked it uh, so i um, created uh, a layered image using uh, digital um, images of Pinterest of um, Magnolia Tilda that um, their famous uh, Tilda so basically it's stamped image uh, like with a rubber stamp uh, they do have digital images as well so basically it's a layer of several uh, uh, stamped and cleared images and shrunk um, in so this is um, a Christmas tree this is the angel uh, little Tilda with the wings and she's holding that gift I know it's so tiny you probably uh, barely can see it so right there and then I just pulled um, off uh, internet um, a post mark for Santa and it says North Pole Santa so that's how I created this uh, mark you know like a postmark image and I watercolored because this is um, a watercolor post you know the um, cardstock watercolored because I um, actually wanted to make um, wanted to make a watercolor postcard so I will uh, start from front and why um, I have the cover on the um, post card um, it was supposed to be a Chevy Christmas and um, after I colored images and I was using Lindy Stem Gang um, sprays and uh, there will be a process video for you and I use the clean color watercolor markers for coloring on watercolor and both uh, Lindy's and this uh, markers uh, came very bright and I really didn't like it uh, because it was too bright for shabby Christmas I actually messaged my partner and I said I'm sorry I, I just cannot send anything to you because I do not like what I see it's not I, I'm not I'm not happy with what I see um, but um, the timing was really tight and I had to use what I had but I had to develop it to something that I be able to live with <laughs> so basically what I did I put on top of the water card uh, to um, rescue my um, bright postcard I took um, the vellum regular vellum sheet I ran it, um, ran it several times on the side to create uh, with the uh, my embossing folder, the dot embossing folder. Uh, ran it on the sides uh, to create like a snowfall, 
and I stickled that and I added some Jolie Boutique uh, snowflakes here and there uh, used their recollection washi tape to secure that on top uh, this is to uh, the die cuts uh, from the uh, Santa Baby Prima collection right there um, used some jute um, and uh, some uh, metal heart uh, jingle bells from NSK charms uh, and basically uh, that's what it is so everything is you know right here dangling what's not really cute I think it came out really cute so here it is the moment of the truth <laughs> so yes uh, the card came out absolutely bright especially after I've done the background and that actually took away from the whole image that I so nicely digitally collaged and um, watercolored so um, I really regretted it but it was too late for me and maybe there is some other way to fix it but I I don't know about that so and um, that's what it is so um, this is a Magnolia Tilder digitalized stamps so uh, if you will recognize this is the uh, scenery with the little houses this is one element this is little angel uh, girl you saw her um, on the back uh, of of that um, you know of the uh, image of the postcard right here this is one of the newer well I'm not sure how new but um, newer um, roof elements with the snow uh, the moon and the stars they are also uh, magnolia tilde digitalized uh, stamps this little girl she holds the um, jingle bells right here and this girl has a bell and the confetti you know gift box and here's little puppy right there if you will take a look take a really close look in there um, she's Maltese I do believe by the breed um, and um, I put a pile of uh, snowballs behind in here so what I thought I would do um, I will turn in this houses into the candy gingerbread houses that's what I was going for so and uh, so it's kind of like a um, toy gingerbread uh, house village and angels sitting you know looking from the skies and the snow falls and the girls they are outside of the frame and a tucked couple Christmas trees on outside to blend that scenery all in and I put the girls and they kind of like they almost like walking into that fairy tale gingerbread village in there so that was the idea behind and um, yes so you um, you will if you would like to see my struggles with the watercoloring um, so stay tuned for the snippets of videos that I will combine and post after um, this uh, video on this particular project um, in long um, run I will give myself I don't know maybe a B minus on this project <laughs> but um, there are some elements that I'm very proud of and there is some coloring that I'm very not proud of so but um, it's learning progress and that's why we craft so um, yeah that's it all right so thank you so much for um, your support kindness tips um, and um, just keep watching all right thank you so much talk to you later bye bye